Grand Rising Scorpios and happy birthday to you beautiful amazing Scorpios how are you doing today I hope this video finds you guys doing absolutely Scorpio amazing uh, it is a cloudy day today here as the leaves begin to continue to fall it's a very very gloomy day but that is just your perception or it is the perception that you perceive it to be. So let's take a quick look, look. Let's step outside, y'all, and see, y'all, what we can see. Yeah. Woo. All right, let's see. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at the squirrels. Squirreling up the tree. See that? Look at, look at the leaves. Isn't that beautiful? Now this is the most beautiful color to me. Because it is all natural. It don't need our help. It just naturally does exactly what it's supposed to do. And also I guess in a sense the universe needs our help though to a degree. And I guess the only help that is needed is just to line up with what you can have. If you can have anything, then your mind needs to be lined up like you can. But remember, Scorpio, this is the fall season. Things are coming away. Things are uh, leaving you, leaving your life. Sometimes it's people. Sometimes it's situations. Sometimes it's toxic behavior, a way of thinking, a way of living. So, yeah, pretty soon it's going to be completely empty, as you know. And then there's a need. Isn't that something like all oh, this going to be gone and then in the spring it's going to come back like it never left. Even more plusher, kind of like a Scorpio's, huh? Look at that. See, I didn't want to come outside. I'm like, I got to sweep all it up. <laughs> See? But yes, it is fall, y'all. It is Scorpio season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, a Scorpios, it is a fall. Yeah. Stuff that's acting up and stuff. Come on and behave yourself. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Scorpio. So, I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. This is the time to manifest. It always is a good time to manifest, but especially this time. Uh, we do have those. Wait a minute, because I don't. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so in November, we got the beaver moon, which is a full moon in November. And one of the main, one of the uh, meanings is it's time to prepare, transition, change. The beaver moon is a time to prepare for winter, similar to how beavers gather food and build dams to survive the cold season. Some people may use this time to set intentions for the winter and secure resources here. So this is the perfect time, Scorpios, to wrap up projects and turn inward for the winter. It's time to look. It's time to be booed up. Okay, I, to me, that's what uh, the Beaver Moon means. It's time to be booed up. It says, if you want to take it further, you can view it as a chance to let go of what it is in the past and start looking forward to a new season and new possibilities. So it's time to let go, just like those trees are coming apart and they're leaving. And you cannot control it. It's like them leaves going to fall down whether you want them to or not. But guess what? Something more beautiful is going to take its place because the leaves that are there now, they've already served their purpose. And you can't get, we can't get anything out of that. Ain't that something? So to me, it's kind of like your energy. It's kind of like the tower car when it's coming down in order to rebuild. And that's a constant phase. So this is the time to wrap it up. Don't go into a new year with the same stagnant energy. And I know we say this every year, so keep on saying it. Keep on doing it. Say it and do it as long as you have to in order to get the results you need. All right, Scorpios? So I hope this video finds you guys in a very, very good place. So let's do it. We're doing tarot today. Nothing but the tarot for the Scorpios. So what's going on specifically for Scorpios? How is Scorpio doing currently? What is going on in Scorpio? Show me Scorpio. Scorpios. 
So I'm doing this video on a Saturday, Saturday morning, because I'm going to go live Saturday evening. So currently, what's surrounding you now is the sun. Scorpio got the sun. This is a bright, your future is very, very bright. You see how the universe is shining on you? This is optimism. This is energy. This is growth. This is expansion. This is new beginning. This is joy. This is happiness. This is fertility. This is abundance. This is happy, happy, happy. Scorpio, y'all may be happy with a Leo. So what else for Scorpios? You got the chariot. Ooh, this is in y'all energy, Scorpios. And the freaking emperor. Mm. So for some of you guys, you are taking over your power. You are, you are doing things with authority now. You've taken control over your life and your look. And you got judgment. So some of y'all have made up in y'all mind that y'all gonna get it. See? This is you. So it could be you masculine, you feminines, taking back your power, moving forward triumphantly. Some of you guys have finally decided to get busy and be active in your life and really put the work in so that you can get the results and you're going to get it because you got the sun. It's like ain't nothing stopping you. You mean it's on move. Uh, get out the way. Uh, get out the way. Uh, uh, get out the way. I said a move. They better get out your way, God dang it, because you ain't taking no prisoners. See, this is Scorpio's current energy. Whether you are a masculine or a feminine, we got the emperor. So you're very, very wise. You've, got, you've acquired a lot of wisdom along this journey here. And for some of you guys, your wisdom is going to pay off in a big, big way. This is your overall energy, Scorpio. Now, now let's look at it from a different perspective. Let's say that even though this is your overall energy, this is in your external. And so if it is in your external, then you got Big Papa heading your way. Could be an Aries. Look at all these major arcanas. Could be an Aries. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Leo. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Somebody's made up their mind that they're going to come in here because somebody's about to pursue their sunshine. Someone may have this epiphany. You know how how it's so it's so amazing how when you're supposed to get something, you're going to get it. And it's, it's usually not the traditional way you get it. It's a, it's, a, it's a spiritual thing because this is a spiritual thing. And someone could go to sleep one way and wake up a whole totally different person here. Now, this could be someone here who you don't even know that is clearly heading your way. Now, I don't know if they're heading to your light because you are shining brightly here. But it's almost like somebody is, is waking up. It's like someone is, it's like that, that, that light bulb that goes off in their energy here. And it could be somebody here rushing in, uh, someone wanting to work things out with you, Scorpios. So that's your overall energy for the Scorpio. Now let's see what's your external overall energy. Yeah, so this is the season for chilies, chicken and dumplings, mainly chili because you can do so many things. You have chili spaghettis, chili, chili um, fajitas, just regular chili, chili casserole, chili dip, chili dogs. That chili can do a lot now. Big pie, you got to do nothing. I remember growing up, we used to love chili because all we needed was crackers. Are you a crunch? I used to crunch all my crackers up in my chili, all right? You can add the onion. Look, I can talk about food. It's all a part of it because y'all going to be snowed in pretty soon. Anyway, I was looking at this video where <laughs> it was funny because he was talking about this guy. He was like this woman had this hobo, hobo, hobo actual. Um, somebody here was homeless and he needed to he needed to, he needed a place to stay. He didn't have nowhere to stay. And he said, I ain't going to lie, I smashed one time. He said, I really didn't smash. He said, I really didn't want to do that because, you know, I really wasn't feeling her like that, you know. But, you know, she came home one day, you know, she had worked a two-hour, two-two shift, and I'm laying on the couch, man. I'm talking about I'm just stretched out on the couch, man. I got the TV on. I got the air on. You know what I'm saying? I'm just parlayed out, you know. And he said, she came home, and she said, she said, oh, you just getting real comfortable here, huh? She said, and, and you ain't putting out like you ain't putting out either. She said, really ain't no need for you to be here, huh? <laughs> so that's 
to the guy who was doing the commentary. He said, God dang, man. Now, that's a man saying it. He said, you see how us men, see how the men take care, uh, take advantage of women. He was like, man, you you already ain't got nowhere to live, and the woman is it ain't, ain't charging you nothing. She's trying to help you get on your feet, and you don't even want to put out. He said, that's the least you could do is put out. He's like, what, what good are you? <laughs> It's like men are always trying to take advantage of women. I feel like that's how it's been because that's how it was set up. But in some cases, the women are running rings around these men. But in that situation, you got sometimes you got men that are really, really just at the bottom of their life and they've given up. And they may be comfortable with just letting someone take care of them because... You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like a woman who would be with a man. He would like, dang, I don't want to be with him. But I know, you know, I know what he going to want and all. Ooh. So here's your external. Knight of Wands. Knight of Swords. Now I wonder, is they, they running in here to you? Mm. Queen of Swords in the reverse. The Five of Wands. Look, that go to the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you guys, someone is ready, someone is preparing for battle, okay? But it's not bad. This is someone here who know that you mean, you mad, and you ain't playing no game. See, they expecting to fight. But someone feels like it's worth it if they can start over with you or if they can create something with you. It's like this person, finna, look, somebody finna run up on you, Scorpios. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's break it down because we just gonna, like I said, we finna do tarot. I got all these decks out here. We just gonna take our time and do these tarots, okay? Like I said here, because this could be someone here who you left out in the freaking cold and they done lost it with the two of pentacles. For somebody, look, Hermit card could be could be somebody you block could be a Virgo. For some of y'all, not everybody. You are a, a big financial. Um, you're you're financially secure, and maybe you used to help this person out financially, and they're not able to keep up without your assistance. So they sit. Look, ooh, I guess that would happen if I keep on digging, huh? Look. So they could be looking at you like you ain't playing no games here, Scorpio, because you just look it's showing up in the reverse. Somebody say you bitter, <laughs> you mean. They calling you, look, you know what they say in here, but it's all a front because it's I feel like, I feel like with with the Queen of Swords being in the reverse and the King of Swords in the upright, someone clearly knows you don't play. Because you got the five of wands right behind you. Somebody know that you 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 for the you for you for the streets, god dang it, if they push you. So this is the stinger fully out, Scorpio, okay? And this is someone here, like I said, is preparing battle because they already know there's gonna be some type of tug of war with you, but someone is hoping in the end that they will prevail. Mm. Like I said, now, now this could be someone here. If you was not financially contributing to this person with this five of pentacles, it's just that now they feel left out because they didn't know you could do it like that. They said they ain't never knew that you had that in there. They thought you was just a beautiful flower that was just there for them. But clearly, <laughs> they see Scorpio is a beast. Ooh, Scorpio, are you a beast? <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do here. It's your person. It's this person here. See? So let's clarify these and see. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So let's see for this. I'm curious, what are they thinking about you with this Queen of Swords in the reverse? So let's see. Because this, I feel like, now you know how I look at this, Scorpios. You ordinarily, now this is a very, very intelligent person here. With this Queen of Swords in the reverse, it's almost like you're not open for communication. You said what you had said and did. All right, that part. 
and they already know you standing on business, you're not backing down, they know it's gonna be a fight with you. See, somebody trying to help you put your guards down here, see? But they already know how you is. They know, look, somebody know you ain't playing, Scorpio. Like I said, somebody know it. So what's going on with Scorpio's external with this Queen of Swords? This is how someone is viewing you. Because like I say, someone is preparing for battle with you. And they plan, they're going to try to win. I don't know if they're going to win because they're Queen of Swords in the reverse. That Knight of Swords in the upright. See the Queen of Swords? Five of Cups. So someone could be looking at you like you're still crying over the past. You're still holding on to a grudge. They must not know you got a memory like an elephant. See, that, that's what it is. Then somebody say you do, you, they say you just overboard. But I, but you know what? At the same time, this will teach people. Don't do that because you're going to get this. If you want the good side, then you better come with the goodness. Or how can I give you good and you're not giving me good back? It's like Scorpios can mirror you, but they're going to do it better. So it's like somebody's looking at you like you're not giving up. You're not giving in. You're still mad. You still, uh, you still soaking in the past. You're not letting it go with that five of cups. Uh, yeah, they probably got you right here. See, nine of pentacles. They say you're doing your own thing. You don't want to be bothered with them, and you're done. You don't need them. So someone, like I say, somebody's gonna come in here and plead their case because somebody's trying to get next to you, babe. But they know it ain't gonna be easy. Ooh, they gonna have to fight for that good, huh? <laughs> Because right now, it's bitter and it's vicious. <laughs> oh, somebody said, you ain't playing, God dang it. You don't remember. Like, God dang, you still talking about that. He be like, what? It, I remember as if it was yesterday. See? But there go the tower here. I feel like somebody feels like you were tearing down and somebody's looking at this like this was a missed opportunity. Or a lack of planning. This is why I feel like somebody's planning. And they could be in their head about this with this nine of swords because someone know that you a tough cookie here. You ain't going to back down. See there, Scorpios. Now you got the five of wands. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You got a Scorpio here. What's up with this five of wands for Scorpios external? What are they viewing Scorpios in this five of wands? Clarify the five of wands. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, argument, disagreements. It could also represent that it's too many people. Look, this up. somebody say, look here. I know you mad. I know you mad, god dang it. See? Ace of Cups. See? Somebody say, I don't care about you, mad. I'm still coming. Look at them. Page of Cups. <laughs> Somebody gonna take the high road, Scorpio, with they watching self. See? You remember you had the chariot in your in your in your energy. They go that same chariot. Cause they watching you, and this is what they're looking at you as. The Queen of Swords in the reverse with the five of cups. And the nine of pentacles in the towel, they're like, God dang. <laughs> scared. Somebody said that they know you don't play. They know you don't play. Ooh, Scorpio could be a can. Ooh, I didn't see that will of fortune. Look. So someone is keeping tabs on you, hoping that things can turn around. Someone wants a fresh start with you, Scorpio. They watching you. They say, you so mean. <laughs> That's how they view you. <clears throat> now, their actions is in the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords energy. It's driven by passion. So, if it's driven by passion, then, Scorpio, I feel like you turn this person on with you acting like that. <laughs> because I feel like someone really got to know the softer side of you. And someone may be knowing that if you're acting like this, it's because of them. Because you remember, we just seen the King of Swords. So it's almost like if they're coming in, but they still want you. Ain't that something? They scared, but it's almost like a challenge that they, it's almost like a challenge that they, it's almost like somebody here calling in the people. All right, so, all right, team one. So, so you know, like you huddle down and you get to coming up with, 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 with plays and stuff. It's almost like they coming up with plays. Say, I'm going to get you. See, 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 see. Somebody said they're going to get you. See, they trying to get you, but they know they're going to have to get away from that queen of swords in the reverse. <laughs> oh, snap, 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 snap. See, 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 see. I love it. See, that's why I said I was going to do tarot today because we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to talk about it today. See, 
because you're so beautiful. Like I say, they look, they say I can make you put the sword down. They trying to get to you. They trying to get in like Flynn. God dang, you see? Because <laughs> ain't nothing happening between y'all. You ain't came back to offer that cup. And this person know that they missed out on the opportunity. But once again, the sun is in somebody's mind. Could be a Leo for some of y'all. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Steady showing up. So let's check out this Knight of Wands and this Knight of Swords. All right, Spirit. What's up with this Knight of Swords for Scorpio's external? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Somebody is rushing in. Somebody may... Somebody may jog a lot somebody may have one of those nice bodies you know they may have some nice strong legs some nice buttocks <laughs> oh somebody may be very very you know athletic but somebody feels like you don't scare them they coming in or somebody say they want you too bad you don't scare them you make them want you more so it's like this person is, is finna rush in and act like they tough and act like they run the thing for some of y'all somebody gonna rush in and put you in your place <laughs> Hey, hold on, woman. I'm a man. This right here is a man. <laughs> they ain't going to say that because you in the goddamn reverse. <laughs> if you want to make it, ooh, look at them. If you want to do right all day, Scorpio, Scorpio, then you got to be a do right oh, all day. He cross watcher. <laughs> you understand. Knight of Swords got that Ten of Cups, baby. Followed by the Three of Cups. Look at him. <laughs> Seven of Swords. <laughs> I'm telling you what's going on because they're going to come in here and act like they really want to talk, god dang it. But they're hoping that you like, oh, my bad. <laughs> you right. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, that they, they attract to the Queen of Wands, Scorpio. See? But they being slick, Scorpios, I'm telling you. They being slick, why they being slick? See that? Because they really want to start something better with you. See? See? Ooh, la shelly, y'all. See there? See how your soul may finna get you? See? 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 So this is what I'm getting here is that this person here, they, they watching you. They trying to see if you still mad at them. Somebody may be waiting for the right time with the will of fortune here. Because they say, you don't forget. They say, God damn, how come every time I see you, I always bring it up thick. I, I thought you forgot about that. Like, you you, you detailing, you, you keep on remembering the extra stuff. I forgot all about that. Gee, thanks. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Ooh, Scorpio. But like I said, if somebody know you still angry at them, but they don't want to wait any longer. They're like, God dang, how long you going to be mad? So they behind the scenes plotting a way to get back. They trying to get back in the house with that Knight of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Somebody misses this. This what they miss. This connection. See? So obviously you guys had an amazing time together. There was a deep spiritual, emotional, and physical connection, but Look at all these cups. So obviously there's love here. Somebody done messed up and they done brought that stinger out. Somebody say you go overboard, god dang it. They ain't never met nobody who go overboard just because you say hi wrong or just because you didn't respond. <laughs> oh, y'all got somebody head twirling around. They're like, god dang, should, should I do this or what? I mean, I, I, am I saying this right? Did, should I really do this or what? And I got to deal with all of this. But then somebody start thinking about the pros and the cons. They were like, dang, it's good. I can't, I can't front, man. God dang, man. It's otherworldly. <laughs> well, then don't tell me to move on if you never had a Scorpio. Because to have a Scorpio is to get sprung. Like Donkey Kong, see? This is what you gave them. This is what they're remembering. This is what's going to make them buck. See? But somebody's finna come in here, Scorpios. See there? Somebody's finna come in here and ease on back in your life. That's what I feel like. Somebody wants to ease back into a connection, a physical connection. Now, what's up with this Knight of Wands? For Scorpios, external, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. This looks like fall, don't it? Oh my gosh. 
when you go to everybody's house, you smell food and you smell, look. And I tell you, the lovers could be a Gemini. Somebody wants your attention, God dang it. Look, they want you to, why don't you do what you do when you did what you did with me when you wasn't mad? Could be a Libra. Ooh, y'all got all this air. Knight of Wands. Six of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands, the lover, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, they want you to give. They said, come on, we're going to give back and forth this time. So this person coming in here to take control, honey. <coughs> Are you ready for that? Somebody's coming in here to take control of the situation, Scorpio. See, they go to Hierophant. See? Because you got... So this is somebody here y'all was in a relationship with. All right? They go the star. Could be an Aquarius. Somebody holding out hope. Somebody, you're somebody's wish fulfilled. Somebody wants to work, work it out with you. So that's your external. So let's pull some nests. Why don't you... Now, you know, Scorpio, you always make a lasting impression on people. People, see, the, the typical ordinary person think that you're ordinary because they're not used to dealing with people like you, honey. But I guarantee you, when they meet you, they're not going to be the same. You know, they, they could try to, to replace you. It's going to be in vain. So let's see. How is Scorpio's feeling towards love currently? Let's see where, where you at. Because sometimes you could be closed and don't, don't realize it. And let's see what, what steps you could take to change it. Because you know all you got to do is change your way of thinking. And more than anything, disconnect. If the source is giving you bad energy, disconnect. All you got to do is unplug from it. Let it go on and run its course. I guarantee you're going to be better because once you move on. See, some of y'all, y'all ready. Y'all ready to be booed up, ain't you? Four of Wands. Three of Wands in the reverse. Nine of Wands. But for some of you guys, look. Some of y'all still holding on to your past, okay? Don't look, don't come for me. I'm just telling you what the car I say. God dang it. If, you if you're waiting for the past, boo, that is your business. You got every right to do what makes you happen. Don't let nobody tell you anything different because everybody do everything differently because it's self-discovery. So, but you're blocking something here. You're, you're, you're kind of, you're not as open. I feel like you guys, for some of you guys, you may just be, um... You may have opportunities coming your way, and y'all may be blocking them, because for some of y'all, y'all still may be waiting on somebody from the past. See, there she go with the three of wands. <laughs> look, you got the three of wands in the reverse. For some of you guys, you you, un, you look, some of y'all got one foot in and one foot out. Ace of swords, but y'all don't know. For some of y'all, y'all don't know where you stand in a relationship here. So you got one foot in and one foot out, and that's creating a blockage for you. Some of y'all want to know about a water sign. Y'all want to know if somebody cares, but y'all didn't get out of it what you wanted. Could be a water sign here. So let's see. Let's clarify these. Then let's pull. How does your external feel about you? You got a lot of fire here. So it's almost like y'all got y'all got you're fired up. You you need you need this fire to be quenched, but just not anybody is gonna do. So it's going to take the right connection. And, and not only that, you're looking for a commitment here. Now, you know, when you get some of Scorpio, you, 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 you go together. All right. <laughs> this is a lifelong commitment. Now, if you're not really ready to, to fit it, get in where you fit in forever, then don't come in here and be trying to milk the Scorpio cow. You got to be prepared to take the whole cow. All right. So what's up with this four ones for Scorpios? How do Scorpios feel currently about love and connections and people that they may or may not be dealing with right now. Because you guys could just feel some type of way. Some of y'all losing hope or you need to heal. Some of y'all may want to heal a connection here with this four of wands here. It's a twin flame. Could be an Aquarius here. So why is the four of wands here showing up for Scorpios? Six of wands. But some of you guys may um, want someone's attention here. It's like what I'm getting, the energy that I'm getting is that you may have opportunities coming your way, but you may not be noticing them because for some of y'all, you, you, you may still be attached to someone from your past, all right? Seeing there go the Ten of Swords. 
And there go the freaking devil card. So yeah, y'all got to get out y'all head, Scorpios, and release something here. So there's something secret. There go that five of wands. Some of y'all still mad at your person from your past and it's, it's stuck in your energy and it's going to block something. But you're going to have opportunity. But 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 if it's somebody here, like, like I just pulled your external, once again, y'all may be mirroring each other. Y'all could very well be mirroring each other. So let me see real quick before I continue. So what's going on with the, uh, the external of Scorpios? How do they view Scorpios? What is their real intentions, heart, mind, space towards Scorpios? Let's see. Huh? Could be a it. Ooh, my shiny more. This how they view and see you, mommy. See, they go to Empress, the fool, the Empress. That's how they see you. To a pentacle. Ooh, somebody want to take care of you. King of Pentacles. But they go to Ten of Swords and the Three of Coins and the Five of Coins. So somebody you done dropped. So let's see. Ooh, they see you. Ooh, I told you. I knew they see you. See? I knew it. See? Like, I feel like y'all, they could be looking at you like, Choose the love Girl, I'm so proud of. This almost like you probably think that you... Uh, I feel I feel like you pose as a challenge, but a good challenge. Because somebody know you're worth it. They ain't never met nobody like you. I'm telling you, this somebody here is totally flabbergasted. You you are you are somebody here who they want to conquer. For some of you guys, if you've been in separation with somebody, this person's learning lessons. They're learning you by how you by how you allow by how you um allow to be treated, how you stand your ground. Three of ones in reverse. I feel like Oh, that's the two of one. Okay, for so some of you guys, you had you're trying to turn your back on this connection here, because you are guarded. You may have blocked this connection. Um, and for some of you guys, you you're looking out here. You you're hoping that it's something better out here for you. So why is the three of ones in the reverse for Scorpios? How do Scorpios currently feel towards love or people in love they are currently dealing with, or future people? See, look at that. They go to Queen of Cups. I feel like y'all want love and you, you're you waiting, but you're not waiting for anyone else. See, and this coming, mama, see? They go to Ace of Cups. Now, see, you remember you had the chariot? See, the chariot? But look, so what's, the, what's this, though? But they go to Seven of Swords. That person, somebody's sneaking in your life, Scorpio, I'm telling you. See, they go to Seven of Swords again. I feel like what is happening is, is somebody here, the reason why some of y'all probably in this energy is because your, your external person is pulling at you because they coming, <laughs> but they coming as being deceitful. But I feel like the reason why they're coming like this is because they know that you're angry or that you, you still holding a grudge. You ain't forgot nothing. They know that you're blocking them. You're guarded. That maybe you may be looking in a different direction. Why is this nine of wands here for Scorpios? Ooh, Scorpio could be a Cancer, a Libra, a Aries, Big Daddy. You remember we seen Big Papa? You remember when we first started this reading? It was the Emperor, remember? Now you got the Empress, see? See? <laughs> nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here for Scorpios? See, I can do bad. No, I can do good by myself. See, somebody already know you a tough cookie to break because you don't need them. You're abundant. You're self-sufficient. You look good. You smell good. I feel like y'all done blocked this person. See, they go to Hermit. See, the cars ain't lying. They go to Six of Cups in the reverse. See, but once again, with that Queen of Cups showing up, some of y'all was in love with this person. Still could very well be. There's a two of wands here. I feel like y'all are planning. You're looking out there to see what else is out there. Why is the two of wands? But this person is looking at the window, though. Somebody waiting. Somebody, y'all probably low-key waiting. You still holding out hope. <clears throat> Three of, two of wands. Why is the two of wands here for Scorpios? C3 of Pentacles, because I feel like y'all low-key hoping that y'all can work things out with somebody. See, y'all may be waiting on this person to come back and make it right. 
unless y'all got a crush on somebody new, y'all could have somebody on your job checking you out. Look, they go to three of cups, see? So for some of you guys, you're out here dating other people, and it could be a new connection that, that's new, fairly new. And it could actually, look, for some of y'all, you're going to start dating someone else, and then here's somebody else going to jump up in your life. See? With the tower and the ten of cups. Look, look at that. Go to six of swords. Here they come. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Now let's see about your external. Who is this? You got Aries. Libra, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. What's going on with Scorpio's external coming here? Somebody, somebody's very, very hopeful. Someone you make a person feel like a kid again. With this two of pentacles, I feel like this person wants to uh, balance the scales or this person here may be feeling like it's either or. It's like somebody's trying to figure out should they or shouldn't they. But I feel like somebody knows that you're worth it because you're showing up as the freaking empress. And like I say, somebody could be looking at you like you're the one that they could actually have a life and a family with. So let's see what's going on here. Wow, Scorpio. You remember you got the emperor and the empress always showing up together. So this is deep divine connections here. So what's going on with Scorpio's external? How do they currently feel about Scorpio or view Scorpio with the fool? Somebody say they're going they willing to do things for you, mama, that they would never ever do with anybody else. See? Cause that emperor, they say you see, and then at night of swords is again. I told look, look, see. See, here they coming with the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody's finna take a leap of faith to do it the right way. Because somebody feels like you deserve it, you're worth it. And they already know how you is. You so diddy. You, 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 you got pride. You know what you see. And there go enlightenment. Look, and there go the Knight of Cups again. For some of you guys, this person here has been watching you. And somebody wants to run off everybody else with that Knight of Swords. All right? I feel like somebody don't want nobody else around you. Because the King of Pentacles is a provider. God dang it. See, here they come with the Six of Swords. Somebody don't want nobody else around you, Scorpios. Why is this empress here? Why do they view Scorpio as the empress? You could have children with this person. Could be a Libra. Clarify the empress. Why is this empress here? Mm, didn't I tell you about that goddamn son hidden? Didn't I say it? <laughs> See? You make this person smile. I feel like when you cussing somebody out, when you mad, it, it gives them riled up. Because... This person, you you make somebody feel special, okay? Because somebody know you, you're not no real bad person here, Scorpio, but somebody know that maybe they didn't do right. Could be a Leo, a Libra. Somebody sees you as somebody here who is bright, who is beautiful, who they would love to have a new beginning with. Clarify the Empress. So you got Libra, Leo, C. Ooh. I say, ooh, we child, yeah. They your emperor of gold. <laughs> See, I told you. That emperor said they gonna follow you everywhere, baby. See there, they said they following the lights. They're following the Scorpio light. Look at that. See there? Ooh, this how they view you. Somebody views you as their perfect fit, their match. God dang it. See? Like, I feel like you had this person laugh, and when you cuss them out, they laugh. Because <laughs> it gets them riled up. How do, why do they see Scorpio as the empress here? Clarify this empress. See, God dang it, the will of fortune, see? Somebody say you're their destiny. This, it is fate. It's, I remember you hit all about, like I said, I feel like somebody watching you. They're trying to wait for the right time when you ain't mad, when you ain't mean, because they prepare, They already know that what they up for. It's almost like somebody went in high and they went in prayer. You know, they went in high and they just, you know what I'm saying? They, they all right, spirit, now, you know, what do I do? What do I do? Because I know Scorpio ain't playing. Scorpio's hard. <laughs> oh, somebody know you can be very, very explosive with the tower card here. So this person going to come back to you humble, but this person going to be very, very direct, very, um... It's like somebody finna show you, God dang it. Yeah, I know who you is, but I'm a man too. See, they go to three of pentacles here, see? Then I tell you, somebody trying to get you to work things out with them because they go to queen of swords because they already know, 
fuck up, you don't play. But at least she back up in the upright this time, see? They said, look, all I want you to do is just talk to me. God dang, why you got to cuss me out and block me? And then you, you ain't letting me respond. <laughs> They know that Queen of Swords ain't playing. See there? See, they don't want to play games no more because they know where to get them. Five of Swords in the reverse here. They got to come right or don't come at all. So why is this Two of Pentacles here? This is somewhere here Keep maintaining balance, keeping it all together, multitasking, doing a lot of things, uh, getting everything done, doing what you have to do. Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like this is someone here who feels like they've uh, invested a lot, a lot within this connection, a lot of time. So this is why this person don't want to go nowhere else. See, and they go the night of one. See, you done shut somebody down. And they've been they've been waiting too. This person been trying to hold it together with the four swords here. So for some of y'all, this person has not been with anybody else. They haven't because they want you. See? See? Ace of Cups. If they go to Hermit, for some of y'all, it's a Virgo because you got the King of Pentacles. See? Six of Wands. They want this to work. So that somebody really wants this to work, so they're going to do what it takes to make it work because that's what you do. Now you got the King of Pentacles. Now what's going on with this person here, Spirit? Why are they showing up as a King of Pentacles how they view Scorpio? Somebody, If they're showing up as the King of Pentacles is how they view you, then this is somebody here who is looking at you like they want to come in here and spoil you. Look, the King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody don't like it that you are single and looking good out here, see? This person don't want to miss out. Somebody finna take you off the market, Scorpio. That's why the King of Pentacles... See, God dang it, see, see. They said they were right there, player. No, 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 player. They were right there belong to me. They, they were right there mine, see? See? <laughs> I'm telling you, see? They finna come in here with some good news. For some of y'all, this person here had to walk away from other situations or other people. Somebody may be realizing that you're the best bet the whole freaking time here. See, they go to that chair. It could be a cancer here. It's like you have walked away and they right behind you. See, there's somebody coming in to claim you, Scorpio, once again. Somebody sees you as the ideal partner that they can actually build something with for the long haul. Because the, the fighting and all the competition and external, they done walked away from all of that. Now they're only focused on getting you back, Scorpio. And they rolling up their sleeves because they already know Scorpios don't play. That's why they feel like you're the one that they're going to spoil, Scorpios. Divine Feminine, Divine Emperor. Uh, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine here. This is a, 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 this is a divine connection. And somebody is finally seeing this connection for what it really is. So don't be surprised. I don't care how mad you is. Somebody finna make you put your sword down. They finna make you put that sword down and pick that wand and that cup up, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, that's your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. Happy birthday, Scorpios.